I'm so, so grateful that, that I was able to, to become so, so personally involved with and close with people in Oklahoma that I never would have been able to have the chance to do otherwise. I want my friends in Oklahoma to know how much you have inspired me to follow my Savior and believe on His name and to understand His grace so much more in my daily life. The relationship that I have with my Savior is something that I don't go a day without thinking about now. As well as my time in Oklahoma, I don't go a day without thinking about it. It's crazy. I can't do it. Y'all have inspired me so much to to become a better person and to read my scriptures every day, to pray, and to really think about and really give me a reason for the hope that is within me to know why I am a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I, I love the strong faith that everyone in Oklahoma has, and I hope that I can just emulate that in every single day of my life, and I hope that I can continue to share it with people because it means so much to me. Uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ is means the world to me, and that is something that was given to me in Oklahoma as I realized that it's really the only thing I have. I know that also my will is the only thing that is really truly mine, that everything everything that I have is truly God's. And I feel lucky and privileged that I got to spend 18 months of my life in Oklahoma completely laying it down for, for my Heavenly Father. I know some very simple things to be true, and you'll hear them a lot from, from members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and that's because these are precious truths that we have found that are unique. That being, I know that we have a prophet on the earth today. And I know that He communicates the will of the Lord to us in these latter days where we, when we need it so much. If we needed a prophet back in the olden days, then we for certainly need it now. And I know that prophet's name is Thomas S. Monson. I know that he's a prophet of God. I know that he receives revelation for us. I know that it comes from a line of prophets that started with, in this dispensation, in this day and age, Joseph Smith. I know that he truly was just a humble, sincere guy looking for truth. And I know that he found it. I know that God called him because he needed to be called. It was a big answer and it was a big thing because a big thing needed to happen. <laughs> the gospel is on the earth again someday. Or today. Today. The gospel is on the earth today. <laughs> and I know that to be true. And I say that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.